Okay, the second part of the Sunday doubleheader saw so Hibernian and Heart of Midlothian squaring up to each other at Easter Road. John Hughes and Shaba Laszlo searching for capital superiority after their first encounter of the season ended goalless at Tynecastle. Everybody likes to win the derby game. It's a derby game. You have to make sure you're rolling your sleeves up and getting stuck in. We go now out in Tinkersel and we must win the game. I know uh, what I have to do. I think all the pressure's on hearts here at home. We have to come and win the football match, so we'll see what happens. Edinburgh is ready. Oh, good tackle. Chance for hearts. Shot deflected. What a save from Marlon. Can he get there before Rowland? Anthony Stokes getting Glenn driving and the shot deflected off Mo goes in. There's a shout for a penalty. It's been a hard fought match. And this first Edmund Derby of the season ends in a goalless draw. Graham Smith was handed a quick fire home debut and there were recalls for Ian Murray and Dan McCormick. McAlambe, Bamba and Nish dropped out. Marius Tunicus was handed a shock start. Christian Nadi and Gordon Smith, the heart strike force. Gonsalves, Robinson and Mole missing from the win over Motherwell. The highlights with Al Lamont. Hibs, of course, looking to bounce back after that defeat by Rangers. And they won't do it like that. There's Michael Stewart in on goal, trying to find Gordon Smith in the middle, and he just couldn't reach it, the youngster. A terrific early chance for Hearts. There's Wallace Spoon. Long ball and it's over the Hearts defence and Anthony Stokes could be in here and he just pokes it wide. Well, I think Buzid did just about enough to recover. He was caught out of position there. Stokes couldn't get out of his feet. Michael Stewart finds Christian Nadi. That's come off the crossbar in the end. Graham Smith on his Hibs debut just palming it onto the bar just to be sure Nadi tussling with McCormack Palace Wheel has a ball into the box Gordon Smith what a strike from the youngster and what a day to score your opening goal for your club on your league debut in an Edinburgh derby well, look at that for a finish Nadi did good work to hold the ball up. Terrific cross from Palace Wales, but what about the finish? And Shabal as well, absolutely delighted. That's looking to put further daylight between themselves. And Hibbs and there's Smith once more. Well, two goals on your league debut. That would just be greedy now. And he almost got them. Just wouldn't come down for him. Derek Ryardin now looking to run at the Hearts. Debutant Chinikas goes to the back post where Anthony Stokes is unmarked and it's the equaliser for him. Well, he was left all alone at the back post and you do that at your peril with Anthony Stokes and it's a 10th SPL goal of the season. For the hip striker, pinpoint accuracy from Ryerden as you'd expect, and deadly finishing from Stokes. That's for the chance to put the ball into the Hibs area once more. And Charlie Richmond's seen something amiss there. And he's going to cross. There's a red card is out for McCormack and Palace Willis as well. I think they're both going off. Well, you can see Palace Wales putting the head into McCormick, but McCormick returns it with interest. And Charlie Richwood left with no option but to dismiss both players. Palace Wales enraged, trying to get at McCormick. John Hughes coming across to put his tuppence worth in. It's clipped towards Stokes again, just managing to keep it in. Liam Miller now flashes across goal. Derek Ryerden at the back post just couldn't quite turn it goalwards. Janika is covering the run of Ryerden and just putting him off there. 
Michael Stewart comes square to Lee Wallace. They got Jonsson. Just Gennady's on Martin and there's Susu Santana coming in and neither could finish. Well, Nadi would have hoped to have done better with the original header, but then it fell for Santana. He just couldn't react in time. Again, it's Hearts pushing for what would almost certainly be a winning goal. Ian Black. Rather miscuing his pass, but it falls again for the midfield. That's a better hit this time. Graham Smith just pushing it away. And Hibbs still trying to get the danger clear, but this was a really good hit from Black. It was moving, and Smith dealt with it well. It's poor from Derek Riordan. He expects so much better from him. The second ball in is a lot better. Ian Murray with his shot. Creeps inches wide of Kello's post. And almost came off the arm there, Abuzi, but Murray's shot. Had the Hearts keeper beaten. Miller for Stokes. for a play, and a lovely dink ball through for Derek Riordan. And he just couldn't nudge it beyond Kello. Well, you felt sure Riordan was going to grab the winner there. So it's one defeat in, what, 14 matches now for Hibernian. Hearts unbeaten in five. Um, you've got to say, they were ahead at half-time. They weren't exactly a huge attacking threat during the first half, were they? You know, that's not too bad a thing for us at Hearts because I think the way, the way they play, they like to defend, but this is 30 minutes into the game and this is the first time that the goalkeeper's picked the ball up in anger with his hands, you know. So, But that's the thing about Hearts. They defend extremely well. They're extremely well organised at the moment. And they're breaking quite well. Nadi does really well there, doesn't he? Really holds it up strongly. Uh, but really, you just got to talk finish. about Gordon Smith. What a fantastic finish. Kind of runs towards the house, fans, which wasn't the cleverest thing to do. But that's a great finish. And that's the problem. What they have to do is to make sure they've got a goal score, because that's what they've lacked. It's a lot to put on those young shoulders, but may well be the man. Well, you certainly, he lived up to it. And um, from the Hibernian point of view, Derek Rahr didn't involve so often as he always seems to be, didn't quite come off from yeah, all the time. Yeah, well, his positioning is great. He's getting Sinecast here, who gets on the wrong side of him all the time, and rather than gets, gets in great positions all the time, he only gets the ball about one in five times from when he should get it, but he always puts himself in a dangerous position. So if, if the ball goes there, he's unlucky with the touch. But time and again, he hangs out wide. If the ball's played correctly, and Sinecast, who's scared to get near him here, and this is an absolutely lovely ball, and that's the problem we have. They just didn't get the ball out to Ryden often enough in dangerous positions, but it gets the ball over to Stokes in this time, and they have two have got a great understanding there. Is there offside here? No. Yes, I think there's a good argument for offside there, and Hearts may be a little bit unlucky in that, but uh, once again, we see at the back post here, Ryden, you know, he always thinks about getting goals, and that's why he's a goal scorer, and this is the thing about Stokes and Ryden working together again, gets it on target as usual, Ryden does, and that's the difference between Hibernian and a lot of the other clubs, and I would suggest all the other clubs because they've got that little bit extra that the other haven't got, and it's two people, and it's Stokes and it's right. I have to say, for a derby, it wasn't that bad tempered throughout the course of the 90 minutes, but we've got our flashpoint. Um, we, we couldn't show the grassy uh, yeah. Number six incident. here, by the way. Oh. Number six. Oh, and you, you see it twice in there. I mean, it's, I can understand why there's a reaction there for the youngster McCall and Matt there, but, there, you know, yes, they go off, etc. but what Palace Wheel is <laughs> doing there, I've no idea. But, hey, in a day where referees are going to bat stick, once again, well done. Referee's in the right position, but look, Puzz Wales has lost it. McCormack, obviously his manager, who's furious there. He can't believe that his young lad's been sent off in his first Aberdeen game. That should never happen. Oh, flashback 14 years. And? <laughs> like Yogi, he knows fine well he gets sent off in his first one as well. And uh, he didn't go down the tunnel quite as quietly as uh, young McCormack did. But uh, it just shows you the passion of that. But look at those faces. Dave McPherson, Hegarty. Jockey Scott in the background in a minute as well. So, I mean, it's, it's a wee while ago. But it shows you the passion again. And it has to be said, it was a quite a passionate encounter. Hibs had far the better of the first half. But uh, Michael Stewart in control in the second.